Kevin. Oh God. Hey, dude. Ke Kevin. Hey, you're uh, man. You're sleeping. Oh, man. <laughs> um. Hey, uh, Kevin from Glass Game Room here, and uh, today we're gonna look at a really nice controller. This is the Nintendo GameCube WaveBird wireless controller. So this is a definitely must have for any GameCube or Wii owner. Um, and it's, a, it's really similar to the old uh, GameCube controllers, uh, but it's a little bit bigger since, uh, since you have to put batteries in it. So there's a bigger compartment for that. But other than that, it's um, the exact same button layout as the original GameCube controller. We're talking about sweet dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look inside here and look at the battery compartment. So you just flip it open just like that. These are actually Japanese batteries. So that's how I roll. So, okay, there we go. Get your batteries in there just like that. Rechargeable batteries are also a great choice. But these tend to last quite a while. Um, you know, my friends and I would play Smash Brothers for hours on end and have no problem. They would last for weeks. But uh, I don't know if there's any official battery length uh, that I can give you because it de probably depends on how many times you're smashing buttons and stuff but but yeah definitely good battery life on this thing so before this was uh, released in 2002 Nintendo hadn't actually made a wireless controller in over 10 years um, they tried one out on the NES and it was infrared and didn't really work all that well but the big improvement they made with the WaveBird is that it uses RF technology so um, with that, you get a lot of, uh, you get really good range with it. Uh, officially, you can get up to 20 feet away, and it still works. Uh, you can play through walls. You know, if you want to play um, some Metroid in your kitchen while you're making breakfast, it's possible. And uh, I'd say 20 feet is actually a pretty low estimate. Um, some friends of mine tried tried out a few experiments, and we got you know 40 or 50 feet away, and it still worked. So. Um, but 20 feet's a good number, it's, you know, more realistic anyways. But yeah, the range on this thing's great. Alright, so to get this thing to work, uh, we need the receiver. So you just jack this thing into your Wii or GameCube. And so you just put it in the port there. Fits in just like that. And then turn on your GameCube controller. That light comes on if you have battery. And then this light should be flashing as long as you're getting signal. So that flashes every time you hit a button. And another important thing too is that you need to match the RF channels on the receiver and so you can see this dial here goes back and forth and there's a dial there. Uh, my main complaint with the WaveBird, it's not a very big one, but it's really hard to see these numbers and the dial um, doesn't lock into place so if it gets moved while you're playing it's pretty easy for you to lose connection. And if you're in the middle of an intense battle, that's that's bad news. So other than that kind of small complaint, uh, the WaveBird's awesome. It's definitely uh, really convenient. Uh, the GameCube controller itself is already really well designed. So to have you know four of these is super awesome for multiplayer gaming. Um, and it comes in platinum and also the original gray model. So you have a couple of choices there. Uh, they do operate on different RF frequencies, so it's easy to get your receivers mixed up. That's another thing to keep in mind. But but yeah, if you can find these, get four of them. You know, it still works on your Wii. And they're great for virtual console games too. So uh, so um, yeah, until you know next time, catch you on the flip, yo. Yeah, wait bird.